the cage top should either be opened or carefully removed to avoid excessive disturbance to the animals. The rat should be allowed sufficient time to become aware of your presence. The first rat to be injected should then be restrained smoothly without hesitation by grasping the animal around its shoulders. The rat should then be lifted from the floor of the cage onto your arm or onto the cage lid. If the animal is very active, then it can be restrained by holding the base of its tail before picking it up around the shoulders. It can then be held resting against your chest or arm while maintaining a gentle grasp around its shoulders and with its hindquarters supported. The cage lid may need to be replaced to avoid the other animals climbing out of the cage. To carry out an intraperitoneal injection, adjust your grip around the rat's shoulders so that your thumb and forefinger push one or both of the rat's legs forwards. The rat's hindquarters are supported using your other hand and the left hind leg restrained between your thumb and forefinger. An assistant, who will carry out the injection, holds the animal's right leg and extends it gently. Intraperitoneal injection is made into the right lower quadrant of the animal's abdomen so as to avoid the liver anteriorly, the bladder in the lower midline, and the cecum, which generally lies in the lower left quadrant of the abdomen or in the midline. The needle should be angled along the line of the leg to penetrate the peritoneum but to minimise the likelihood of penetration of the abdominal organs. The injection is carried out and the needle withdrawn. The rat is then placed into its cage and released. Prior to release, it may be identified, for example with a tail mark, to confirm that the injection has been administered. When releasing the rat, maintain a secure grip until its feet have made contact with the cage floor, then gently release it.